Hey guys, it's Comps Tutorialized. Um, I'm finally back from my long vacation, I guess you could say. But anyway, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an Obama poster. And you're going to need GIMP 2.0 and the Obama Hope script, which I will provide the download link in the description. If you don't know how to install a script, I will have a video on that very soon. I go to File, New. And let's start with a width of 317 and a height of 397. Click OK. Now for your colors, your background in HTML notation is going to have to be 00324D. Click OK. And now your background is going to have to be in HTML notation also D51 and A21. Click OK. Now go ahead and click on your rectangle select tool and about near, I don't know, a quarter of the bottom of the page select all of it and get your paint bucket tool and fill it with blue. I go to select invert and get your gradient tool and make sure you're set to foreground to background click on one of the dashed lines and drag it over to the other side and make sure the line is straight and go to select none and already you can tell it's starting to look like the background of the Obama posters. Now we're gonna need a person in this picture so go to open and find a picture of a person you have and for this example I'm gonna use a picture of Chuck Norris. There he is. Now use your fuzzy select tool and click on the white part of the picture. Right click, go to layer, go to transparency and click add alpha channel. Now go to edit clear and now he's filled with transparency now go to filters and if you've installed the Obama script already it'll be under artistic Obama hope now set everything to the lowest that it can be the lowest value and frame thickness the lowest is one except for corn size make that one now you don't want a lot of smoothness because it will start to not look like your person at all it'll look just like a jumbled mess of colors. Now, so 0, 0, and 1. Click OK. Now it's going to start to work, and you're going to start to see it make a lot of layers for this one picture. And there you have it. Now, find the layer called yellow, right-click it, and delete it. Now you're going to have to make a path around him to select. So, select your paths tool and start making a path around Chuck Norris and uh, I'll be right back after I'm finished now once you've finished making a path around Chuck Norris simply go to select and click from path now go to edit copy visible now go back to your background make a new layer and uh, call it Chuck and go select the layer make sure you're in it and go to edit paste and there we have him there's Chuck Norris uh, now move him around and you'll notice that he's a bit too big for the frame so let's use our scale tool and click on Chuck Norris and not the background make sure that this chain is connected and not unconnected and have him on percent that way we won't mess up his body proportions so once you think you have it click scale and move him down and he's still a little bit too big so let's scale him just a little bit more and align the bottom of Chuck Norris to the top of the rectangular box and on floating selection right here right click and click anchor layer that way Chuck Norris will be in the Chuck layer now we've almost got it we just need one more thing and that's the text at the bottom get your text tool and make a box at the bottom and type whatever you want uh, I'll type Chuck again click close now you can't see the text because it's the same color as the box so click on color down here find where it says V in text color 
and drag it until it says 76 click OK and there it is uh, if you find your text is too small just go to size make it a bit bigger so let's just center this a little bit and there it is go to image flatten image and now you can see it and there we have it it's an Obama poster of Chuck Norris um, this has been comps tutorialized thanks a lot for watching uh, this is me signing off